welcome back yes my name is Sela Custodia in this video we're jumping right into the video I'm gonna be telling you five things I wish I knew earlier before applying for my citizenship yes five things I wish I knew earlier I mean in case you don't know citizenship is basically what you become after being a permanent resident after being a permanent resident for roughly like five years or some even get it for like ten years yes the next step is citizenship of you becoming a citizen of the United States of America yes so citizenship five things I wish I knew about earlier if you see me looking on my phone I have it written down here so if you see me looking on my phone yes one take all the time you need when you're applying when you're applying for this and reduce all distraction as many as possible yes i wish i knew this earlier because when you're filling in the citizenship it's gonna take a while let's say roughly like an hour and a half yes because they have like little tiny details and they have a lot of yes no yes no yes no you want to be like critical about answering such questions because you might be asked those questions in during your interview you want to make sure and you don't rush it take your time because you're not gonna refund your money back you're not gonna get a refund in case you make a mistake or something goes wrong no and when you submit it that's it so you want to take all the time you need to submit the application got it yeah apart from that you want to keep those information safe they're gonna be asking you what time you move from your old address to your new address how long you've been at your new address and we're human sometimes we forget this you know so it's good to screenshot such stuff when you finish putting in all you if you don't want to screenshot you can write it down so you don't forget because you might be asked there and you don't want to be there and you'll be rambling ranting and it makes it look like you you're telling a lie because it's kind of inconsistent yes so that's one thing i wish i knew earlier so i could i screenshot in my though but i wish somebody has actually told me about this because i did it because I, I was a little bit i was a little bit scared that's why I did it. So I just did it so I I don't get asked and I end up rambling. So yes, so I think that is what I'm talking. So that is one thing. The first thing I wish I knew. Second, you need to have enough money. Yes, you need to have enough money for this application for the N400 application. Yes, you need to have enough money. The application alone cost six forty dollars whatever amount i'm saying i'm gonna put it in the screen it's cost six forty dollars and the biometrics cost eighty five dollars so adding it all up is seven twenty five dollars just for the application so if you don't have enough money saved how are you going to do this so you need to have enough money saved that's not just the end of it there's still more coming if it will be all different if you want to have your passport as soon as possible then it means the day of your swearing in the the very day you get your certificate and you want to have your passport you could put it you could put the application in right in that day yes and the passport is not for free you got to pay for the passport and the passport is like it's a it's like 150 dollars that's for the passport if you want the passport card an additional will be added if you want um the passport book they are tight they say like medium size and it's like a large size so if you want more pages added to your passport book obviously you're going to pay for more so yeah so it's all carrying an additional cost to it and if you don't want the regular shipping the regular shipping goes like six to eight weeks but due to covid it's now 14 weeks so if you don't want that and you want the express obviously you're going to pay more because it's express shipping so yes you need to have more money not just for the application but for the passport app not just for the citizenship application the n400 but for your passport too yes that's the second thing i wish i knew earlier third thirdly not only is the oral exams or the oral questions on youtube the oral questions are on youtube yes but not only that the written one are on youtube too for me being a student the reading one wasn't really my problem but if you're a bit older the reading becomes a little bit pro becomes a problem for you because it's been a while since you went to school and the writing becomes an issue so yes not only is the oral 
on YouTube, but the rating one is on YouTube too. When you type written <coughs> written part of citizenship tip interview, you're gonna it's gonna pop up with a lot of videos telling you how to spell Washington, how to spell taxes, how to spell <coughs> the White House, all those types of types of words that you might be asked to write down. Yes, and you told them they ask you to write in sentence. So yes, all those types is in the video. Reading so it's not just the oral but the reading as well. Yes. Fourth thing I wish I knew earlier. When this is just common sense. When when you get the letter, right? When you get the letter telling you you are supposed to go for interview on this day, you have to read the whole entire letter and behind. I didn't read the behind of the letter. And you're supposed to sign. Because when you get there, she she ask you. And you don't want to go there and appear like you are unprepared. Because already on that day, you have a lot on your plate. Like you're already feeling feverish and already tense. So you don't want to add that to it, you know? Yeah, so you could sign. You could sign what they have to and read everything. Got it? Yeah. And lastly, faith. Lastly, don't forget to take your essentials. Yes. Don't forget. You have to take your old permanent resident card. You have to take it. The old one. You have to take it. Because they'll request for it. <laughs> they'll actually take it. So if you don't take it, you have to come back home for it. Yeah. So you have to stay home and they will send you an appointment in like a month. That's a long time. So don't forget to, to take your, your state ID, your permanent resident, your old card. You could take your passport too. Take all the essentials. Don't forget any of those because if you forget any of those and you don't meet the right person or a good person, she could tell you to come back home. And it's not by even meeting the right person. that you, you just didn't use your common sense and bring it up and like brought it in so yes yeah, take all your essentials because all she give you your ids back and your passport back but she's going to take the the permanent resident your green card she's going to take it so out of five things i wish i knew earlier before i applied for my citizenship application and um, lastly this is just a bonus lastly citizenship comes with a with 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 its own I don't see a burden, but pressure, something like that, because it's like now you feel like now you're a citizen, it's like you have to like top up or up your game in your life, because like now you're like on the top, you know, citizenship is like, you, that you've done it, or there's nothing next after citizenship, so it's like, now you have to think about your life, like, how is it going, like, am I, even though I'm a citizen, is my life, does my life look like a citizen? Like, am I on top of my game? It kind of brings a little bit of pressure and it kind of like make you restructure your life to see. So yeah, so it kind of, it, more like a responsibility kind of thing. Yes, so that's one thing that comes with citizenship. It has a little pressure to it. Yes, if you're up for the pressure, yeah. So yes, these are the things I wish I knew earlier before becoming a citizen. <sighs> Thank you for watching this video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.